just at the outset, I want to say that I'm not a climate change denier, but what I am is a realist. And I have not heard so far enough debate that I could say is a level debate or equal to both sides. And I'm going to reiterate some of what I said in agricultural statements last week. The level of balance when it comes to debating climate change and climate action measures is non-existent among our public service broadcasters. Private media companies are entitled to promote particular editorial opinions on whatever subjects they like. The same should not be the case for public service broadcasting. We had one of the most impactful pieces of legislation to pass these houses last year, the Climate Action Bill, and it floated through these houses and the media with little scrutiny, while opponents of it were treated with disdain by the ruling classes. Not only did the opposition parties such as Sinn Féin, Social Democrats, Labour and People Before Profit unite with the government to support the bill, they unbelievably complained that it didn't go far enough. Then, having voted for a bill which placed an enormous cost burden on the ordinary working person, they stand up here on a regular basis complaining about the cost of living and that the government should be taking measures to deal with it. Did none of you who supported the Climate Action Bill think through the consequences of it before voting for it? It will make absolutely no material difference to climate change, but it is causing serious hardship to those struggling to make ends meet. Did those who voted for it not realise that rising the carbon tax every year until 2030 will have the greatest negative impact on the poorest in society? We have petrol and diesel rising again, almost back up to the two euro per litre mark. Those who rely on public transport are, and who are in a position to actually be able to avail of public transport are not affected by the rising cost of fuel. Yet, these are the people who are receiving a 25% discount on their travel costs in the last few days. The 15 cent excise reduction amounted at the time to a 7.5% discount on fuel, but due to rising prices it wasn't really a discount at all, and yet those who use public transport are getting 25% discounts. The people who can't use public transport because it isn't available in their area, particularly most of rural Ireland, are effectively being left out of government supports, but paying the taxes that the carbon tax has increased. Those who are affected most by the rising cost of fuel are those in rural Ireland and who simply have no alternative. It seems that government policy is trying to gradually phase out rural Ireland altogether. You have planning authorities trying to make it next to impossible to build a house in rural Ireland. So much so that in years to come, and very few years to come, the rural GAA clubs, the rural school, the rural pub and the rural church will be a distant memory in many areas, whilst we will all be herded into suburbia. And while here on this small island, our heritage, culture and society is being eroded in the name of saving the planet, whilst China will be building more coal-powered plants, the cost of these mad climate policies is estimated by Professor Michael Kelly at €200,000 per household. There hasn't been a proper debate about whether our approach is the correct one or not, or if it is going at the right pace, or if it is focusing on the correct things. I mentioned last week, last Count Corla, about our pathetic performance when it comes to planting trees. Trees are a proven, effective way of absorbing carbon, and they are vitally important. Yet, governments seem totally disinterested in meeting the targets for tree planting. Not only are the government showing disinterest in planting trees, they're making it very cumbersome to manage woodland due to a ridiculous licensing system which needs reform. Carbon tax is currently €41 Euros per tonne, and people are at their wit's end trying to make ends meet with these increases. And unless this runaway train is halted by a large dose of cop on, at some stage carbon taxes will increase to 100 euros per tonne by 2030. We cannot tax the ordinary people into poverty as a solution to climate change. Thank you, Les Kankar.